Okay, guys, we're going to get started. What we're going to do today is today is going to be kind of like an introductory to using Facebook for your business. As we go through the rest of this month, we're going to do some other more specific webinars on how to um, you know, accomplish very specific tasks. All those things are great, but I don't. I think if you don't have a game plan in front of you, they're irrelevant. So hopefully today we kind of set the foundation for having the right game plan and understanding how Facebook can be really an asset for your agency. So what we're going to do today is kind of go through a few key things. We're going to kind of go through the purpose of Facebook. We're going to look at the business page, how it should be set up, how you should use it. And then we're going to talk about having kind of that day-to-day -day plan. You know, are you doing the little things right to grow and be successful with Facebook? So that's going to be kind of the overview. Um, you know, I, I think the biggest problem I see out there is that some people love Facebook and some people hate Facebook. And I think to get to the next level as an entrepreneur, as a marketing professional, because using Facebook, now you're entering the world of marketing. That's really what it's about. It doesn't really matter what products you sell. Um, it really comes down to, okay, you're now trying to market your brand. You have to have the right mindset. And I think it's very, and I don't mean to sound derogatory or negative, but I think it's very uneducated to say that you don't like Facebook, especially if you're in the world of sales. To me, that doesn't make, doesn't make logical sense why you wouldn't like it. Now, one of the problems is, is that Facebook started out as like a social network, right? You know, back in 2003. So we've been kind of brainwashed to think that really all it is is it's a tool for kids. They go on there and they gossip and they talk and et cetera. When the reality is, is Facebook is now a multi-billion dollar company um, that has quite a few tools and facets for businesses. So what you need to understand is you have to kind of get away from the attitude of liking and disliking. You know, in my opinion, that's totally irrelevant. I mean, if you asked me personally, I don't like Facebook. On the flip side, I use it four or five hours a day, and I've figured out a way to make money from Facebook. So now I kind of like Facebook. But you know what I'm saying? If, if I really was trying to talk in a sense of do I like the theory behind it and how it works and what's happening on Facebook, yeah, I, I don't like it. I'm probably in the same boat as most of you. I don't really care if you know Bobby Smith had an English muffin for breakfast. But what I do care about is I know a lot of people are addicted to Facebook. They're constantly looking at it. They're looking at it on their phone. They're looking at it on their iPad. They're getting alerts. They're getting messages. All of that stuff is the good stuff. That's the stuff that as a salesman, you can harness it. You can take advantage of it, and you can utilize it to grow your business. So I think moving forward, you have to look at Facebook as a massive crowd of people. That's all it is. It's like a carnival. And you know at carnivals, some crowds of people are the people you want to talk to. Others aren't. But at the end of the day, you want to have a booth in that carnival, right? Bob's Insurance, however you want to project yourself. You know, because at the end of the day, that's what we're after. We're after traffic. How do I get people to pay attention to me? How do I get people to think of me as the insurance guru? Not only so they can come to me for products, but so that when they're talking to their family, when they're talking to their friends, and their friends and family have a problem, they're actually saying, oh, yeah, you got to talk to the insurance guru guy, Bob Smith. Yeah, talk to him. So that's kind of the mentality that needs to be in place to be successful. You have to understand that all Facebook is is a lot of people gossiping and talking. And as a salesman, you have to develop a strategy to get into that crowd and kind of drip on those people. You want to drip that you're the insurance guru. You're the expert. You're the person they need to go to um, when they have a problem. So there's kind of a big difference between projecting to be an expert and soliciting, in my opinion. You don't want to solicit, but you want to be constantly doing things that are showing that you're on top of your game. So what you need to do to be successful is really do two things. One, you have to kind of understand that Facebook gives us two different templates. They give us the personal page, and you'll see I have one for Ken French, right? This is my personal page. And then I have my page for my business, right? My benefitstore.net page. You have to understand that one, there are two different pages. 
And you want to make sure that you're using the personal page for personal and the business page for business. And what you may not understand is, is that the business page has different tools, actually different technology in it that make it advantageous to focus on it. The personal page only can do so many things is the best way to put it. So step one in being successful is, is okay, understand that, okay, this is my business page. This is the thing that I want to grow. So you want to, A, make sure it looks good. You want to make sure that the graphics fit and they look nice. When you go to the about page and the page info, everything's well written. It's got your phone number, your email address, tells people what you do. I assume that that's probably taken care of for most people, but that, in my opinion, is the first step. The second step is starting to understand what you need to do to be successful. And there's really only two things that you need to do to be successful. Um, and that is, I'm just looking for the slide, sorry. There's really two things. Number one is you want to build your distribution. And when I talk about distribution, that means getting people to follow your page. Okay, so if you don't have anyone following the page, you can post as much as you want, but it's not going to get that much results. So how do you get people to follow your page? Well, if you go look at my page right here, you'll see that I have 2,060 people who are following it. Facebook doesn't use the word follow. They use the word like. But what that means is, is if people come to your page and click the like button, they will become followers of your page. And um, you can kind of see that the like button appears right here in the middle. And right now, I've already kind of liked my page, so it says liked. But my point is, is think of liked as opt-in. Almost like, you know, when you used to have an email newsletter. You wanted to get people to say, yes, send me your newsletter. Well, it's the same theory. You wanted to come to your Facebook page, click this like button, and once they click the like button, now all of a sudden, they're going to get everything that you post. And that is probably, I know that sounds maybe simple, maybe it is a little confusing, but in my opinion, that's the, probably the most confusing thing out there when I do consulting. I do a lot of private consulting. For whatever reason, once you can understand how all that works, it's a lot easier to get results. And usually, understanding that is what holds a lot of insurance professionals back. They still aren't understanding the flow of things, how it works. Once you start to understand the flow, then there's really two things you do. I mean, it, it actually is incredibly simple, Facebook. The two things you do are you post things, okay, that make you look like the expert, and you're constantly trying to get people to follow your page. It makes, I mean, it makes sense, right, guys? You post things just like, it's almost like email marketing. It's actually exactly the same as email marketing. With email marketing, all you're trying to do is get as many email addresses as you can, and then you're writing emails and sending them out to those email addresses. The only difference with Facebook is you're not getting their email address. You're just having them click this like button. And when they click it, now they're getting your messages. The big difference though, guys, and this is why, this is why Facebook is like a billion dollar um, uh, entity, is that when you post things on Facebook, they have a chance to go to people that haven't liked your page. Now, if you post something and somebody clicks that they like it under the post, then that post goes to all of their connections. It's called viral marketing. And it's an easy way for you to get in front of your clients, friends, and family, which is exactly where referrals come from in the insurance industry. So just to kind of review in a more simplified manner, what you need to do to be successful is one, have a business page. Have it set up very nicely, professionally. Now, the most common thought is, okay, I've set my page up. Now I need to get a lot of people following it. In my opinion, that's actually step two. Step one is to start posting content to your page because the content is actually the value that you're providing. So I guess my point, guys, is, is I do these webinars all the time. And I constantly get people calling me up afterwards. They want to do some private consulting. I get them all pumped up. They're so excited. They start to understand. And the first thing they want to do is they want to tell everybody they know that they have a Facebook page. The problem is, is that they tell the people, 
but then the people go to their page and there's nothing there. There's no value. So the people go, great, you have a Facebook page. Welcome to 2015, right? And it's, I kind of chuckle, but that's the reality. People aren't impressed by it. So what you have to do to be successful, and this is right here, this is like the $500 answer. What you have to do is you have to provide something that they see as valuable. What, do, what does Ken do? Well, what I do is probably twice a week, I post videos and tips on how to use social media for insurance professionals. Insurance professionals go, wow, that's great. You're giving free tips on how to use social media. I'm going to like your page so I can get your tips. That's working for me. You have to figure out what's going to work for you and your agency. You know, to be honest, it probably doesn't have to be that complicated. Maybe it's just tips on things going on in the industry. You know, if you're focused on Medicare and open enrollment, there's an incredible amount of content that you can post right now. Um, but my point is, is when you go to promote your page, you got to give people a reason and a value for liking it. So that becomes kind of step one is step one, you know, obviously get the page looking good, then start to post some things on here. My suggestion is start posting something three days a week for two weeks straight. Once you do that, now you have something on there that, that's going to bring some value then you can worry about marketing the page. Um, and there's all sorts of ways you can obviously market the page. One, you want to make sure you have it on your website. You know, you can, my suggestion would be to actually send out an email to your client list and say, hey, look, Bob's Insurance is now using social media as a free value-added service. You know, every day we're offering insurance tips, insight, and updates. Um, if you know you want to take advantage of our free value added, just go to facebook.com backslash Bob's Insurance and click the like button to get our tips. I've seen many an agency do that, and many an agency get you know a really good conversion ratio of clients. So that would be kind of my suggestion on how to grow it. Start posting, do some email marketing. Um, one thing you can do um, very easily is if you go to your business page. Uh, you'll see that there are these three dots here. If you click on these three dots, uh, it'll kind of give you a list of options. And one of the options is to invite your friends. So if you click on that, you can actually go through all of your personal friends and click the invite button, and it'll send them an invite to actually follow your page. It's kind of like step one in, in getting followers. Something easy, probably takes 10 minutes. You'll probably get a 20% conversion, 30% conversion, but it's something. It gets a base of following. Um, and then once you have that in place, you know, it kind of never stops. It's, you know, to be successful, you're kind of posting, you're adding connections. You're posting, you're adding connections. The cycle never ends. It's kind of about subcon I call it subconscious marketing. That is what Facebook has become. It's become the modern day drip marketing. Yes, email is good, but it's oversaturated. And right now, like I said initially, people are addicted to Facebook. They are addicted to it. We need to take advantage of it. We don't want to solicit, but if we can consistently post educational content and things that project us to be the expert over time, you know, I, I kind of skipped this slide. I call, it, I call it the farming effect. We're planting seeds. Who knows what's going to sprout? But if you constantly are planting those seeds that you're the expert, over time, you never know what's going to come from it. You know, you can't imagine how many phone calls I get from people who say, I've been following you for three years, and finally I got frustrated with my current vendor, and I'm calling you. Who's to say that can't be you? You know, because the guy got a huge rate increase, and he finally decided to check your agency out. So, you know, I think success is still the same formula. It's about offering great service, knowing the products, creating real relationships, generating referrals. I just think that there's a lot of easy things with technology now that make sense, they're simple, um, and they're free, and um, they can help grow your